Yeah, that's to bring it up higher. No. Sure, because I could do it hand screen and just go screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Does it work? Just because I'm tired. Go. I think I'm Hi, I'm Felicia. And I'm Giancarlo, and this is our review of Mousquetaire du Roi, or as the English would say, Mousquetaire du Roi. Mousquetaire du Roi. Is it the Mousquetaire du Roi game? <laughs> okay, I got nothing. Kapo Actually, I thought, okay. Speechless. You know why? You know why I said that because I went to uh, to Paris. True story. Went to Paris, and uh, there was an American um, uh, tourist. And he's like, "Excuse me, there, fella. You know where Champ Delices is?" I'm like, "Champ Delices? What the hell is this guy talking? About? <laughs> like Champ Delices?" Sounds like like oh Champ Delices, Champ Delices. Oh, yes, it's, it's right behind you. you. Big arches. I thought he was asking for Liza Minnelli. Like, she got herpes. I heard. Liza Minnelli has herpes. <laughs> yeah, she said she's got herpes. <laughs> From who? From that old dude she's dating know. with the glasses. The old dude. What old dude? The guy. Does? She's dating a guy who looks like the guy from the Bee Gees. Liza Minnelli with the short oh. hair. Hey, uh, nah. she's all like. Uh, the one that goes balls to you. <laughs> Her. You got. You know. You guys know what I'm talking about or not? <laughs> they don't know what I'm talking. Know. You know. You know of what I'm talking know about. What you're talking balls about. to you. <laughs> And she's a classic like Liz Taylor, like MJ, Britney the, the, Spears. This is all stuff all that's in the, in the game, category. by the way. Yeah, it's all about herpes, herpes uh, Liza Liz Minnelli, Taylor. Champ Delizes. Paris is there. Paris is there. Paris is there. It's, it's actually in the game. And uh, I remember that Brian Adams song. I don't know what you guys are saying on Board Game Geek that we have nothing in common with what we say in the game. We have everything in everything common. Everything in common. Come on, people. Paris. What, is it? what else? Uh, Brian Adams in the Three Musketeers. Maybe a Brian Adams. And yeah, I he's, would uh, die he... for you. That was That's Robin Hood, wasn't it? Close. You know, I quit. <laughs> one, one takes place in England and the other one takes place in France. They're very similar countries. In Musketeers, one player plays the evil My Lady, trying to foil the Musketeers' plan to get the Queen's jewelry, and the other players play as the Musketeers. In the box, you'll get a playing board with all the different locations, four individual character cards for each Musketeer, five plastic figurines, ten special dice, six blue and four red, two double-sided quest boards, which the Musketeers are trying to complete, validation tokens, and epic tokens. A bunch of tokens for abilities and equipment, 110 cards forming various decks and hands, an hourglass and finally a screen for the My Lady player. The game is played until the Musketeers complete four quests or My Lady completes one of her objectives. Here's how to set up the board. Place the time token on the time track. Place the money token on three. This is the Musketeers collective pool of money. Fill up the shopping items according to their tokens. The player playing My Lady will get the screen, her pawn, the red dice, and all the corresponding decks. She will choose one Paris card and place it in Paris. She will also shuffle all the Louvre cards and place them in the Louvre. Next to Paris and the Louvre, she will place guards and other effect cards making sure to match the shield amount with the card. So three shields means she can play cards there up to that many shields. Now she will set up the quest number one with face down tokens in the appropriate spots. Rockfort's health is at full at the start of the game. He's my lady's bodyguard. She shuffles the treachery deck and draws three cards. Place the La Roche token in the center of the track and the other tokens at the start of each track. Each other player now chooses a musketeer and places their pawn on their appropriate starting spot on the board. They each start at full health. Shuffle the Musketeer cards and deal out 5 to each Musketeer. You're now ready to start the game. The game has 4 phases per turn. The first phase is My Lady's phase. She will choose a destination card and hide it behind her screen. Then if there are no Paris cards in play, she can play 1. And finally, she can draw a treachery card or play a treachery card. The effects of that card take place immediately. The second phase is the Musketeer phase. Each musketeer can do three actions in any order and can do the same action more than once. These actions are draw a card, move to another location, trade with another musketeer at the same location, play a card, reinforce La Rochelle's defenses, overcome a challenge, attempt a duel, or buy something from the items available. 
Once all musketeers have done three actions, the third phase starts, which is the La Rochelle phase. Here my lady will roll red dice according to the time track and the musketeers roll blue dice according to reinforcements played there. Count the swords on both sides dice and see who has more swords. The marker will move in the favor of my lady or the musketeers by the difference in the amount of swords. Depending on where the marker reaches, sometimes either side will get a bonus. So think of this spot like a tug of war each turn. The final phase is the cleanup. Move the time marker down by one. Move the Louvre token down by one and apply the Paris cards effect if any. Now repeat these steps until a side wins. Now to explain each area of the board. The my lady's quarter can only be accessed by, well, my lady. Duh. Here my lady will choose a Paris card from the ones not used yet and places it into her hand. In Richelieu's den, my lady can choose a card from the treachery deck or draw up to her full hand size. However, if a musketeer shows up here and my lady is there, she is revealed and runs away without being able to use that action. If a musketeer goes there and my lady did not choose that area this turn, then the musketeer is caught by the guards and sent to prison. In the Columbia Hotel, my lady can't ever go there. This is where the fallen musketeers end up. If they are beaten in a duel, they end up here, on their side. At the start of their turn, they stand up, draw a card, and end their turn with no actions. If a musketeer ends up in prison, they have two choices. They can bribe the guard for one gold and move to the hotel and still have three actions, or try to duel a guard and end up at the hotel with no actions left. In the Paris space, there is sometimes a card there which must be passed by the musketeers before the track token moves up to the sixth spot. To complete and remove this card, musketeers go there and use cards and their abilities to complete the card's demand. However, to fully complete Paris, you must complete the card and defeat all the cards attached to that area. If my lady is also there, she reveals herself and the musketeers must fight her bodyguard in a duel. The same goes for the Louvre spot. Here the musketeers must pass the challenge and defeat the guards to receive their reward of epic tokens. If they fail to complete this mission after 4 turns, it's failed and the next one will appear. Be careful though, if you don't complete these, the my lady token moves to the right and if it reaches the end of the track, my lady wins. Finally the last area is La Rachelle. If a musketeer goes here, he can play sword cards to add defense. If my lady appears there, she can remove a card from the defense. So now you know what each area does. The major area that the musketeers must focus on is the quest area. Here there will be a quest which once completed they move to the next quest until they complete 4 quests and win the game. Each quest is different and must be approached with some strategy, while stopping my lady from winning the game in the other areas. If my lady is in the quest area, she can reveal herself and stop a musketeer by sending her bodyguard for a duel. Let me explain how duels work. If a musketeer goes to Paris for example and there is a guard there, he can choose to duel him. That guard will roll red dice equal to his rating and the musketeer will roll blue dice equal to his rating. The match the swords with the shields and see who gets hit. Each sword without an opposite shield is a wound. If there is a tie, each player rolls again with one less die. Keep doing this until one of the players is hit or until there is no more dice to roll. If you roll your special move which is on your character card, it's an automatic hit. Some guards also have special abilities. Let me explain your character card and stuff you can buy for it. Your character card has its health value, name, starting ability score to complete the objectives, special move and empty spots to add abilities and upgrades. At the shop you can buy a horse which gives you one free move per turn, a pistol which gives you one free sword to your first attack roll, armor which gives you one free shield during a duel, a sword which allows you to reroll one die during a duel, a bomb which heals you for two wounds, and another secret move to give you more chances of getting an auto hit, and finally upgrades to add plus one to one of your stats. You can only have two equipments and two abilities. So there you have it. It's a game where everyone is always on their edge of their seat, hoping that their strategy works. The Malady turn is very quick and sometimes leaves the player a little bored. However, it does give her time to strategize for the next turn as well as try to figure out the musketeer's plans. The production quality is nice and the rulebook is very well written and some bonus advice for each of the players. Each game feels a little different and the game is pretty well balanced. 
Each game we played came close for both sides. There's no steamrolling possible here, unless the My Lady player really sucks. We really like this game and its style and we're giving it an 8 on 10. The strategy, theme, character, customization and solo play really give this game a winning boost. Do not pass this game if you like strategy, euro style and DM versus player games. If you find this game at a price you're comfortable with, we recommend it. Not great artwork but really fun gameplay. Very satisfying to the player or players who win this game.